Oh, hello, we were talking today about Native Americans. They were the first people in the Americas. They were living here in large numbers when Europeans arrived. They had three major civilizations, the Aztec, the Maya, and the Inca. Each of these three civilizations came into contact with the Spanish. Contact between the Spanish and the Native Americans did not usually go well. The Spanish came to America to gather its riches. They planned on taking the riches for the use of Spain. They often viewed what the Native Americans had as something they could simply take. They could take it because the Spanish had horses, armor, and guns. The Native Americans had none of these. There were larger numbers of Native Americans than Europeans arriving. That was their advantage. However, the Spanish and other Europeans brought something else to the Americas. They brought all types of new diseases. For these, the Native Americans had no defense. They often caught these diseases and promptly died. As much as half or more of the Native American population died from disease. After the Europeans arrived, the Native American population dropped dramatically. In the areas of the English colonies, these tents also took place. The English brought diseases that made Native Americans sick. The disease more often killed a Native American than they did the English. The English also had horses, armor, and guns. At first the Native Americans and the English who arrived got on. Often the English settlers would have died off were it not for the Native Americans. Native Americans showed the English which plants to grow for food. They showed the English how to grow these plants. They showed the English how to use corn for food. They also taught them about squash and potatoes. They introduced the English to eating turkey. The English settlers in Virginia were looking for gold. It was a fool's errand. There was very little to be had. The Native Americans introduced them to the next best thing to gold for the settlers. It was a plant called tobacco. Settlers were soon growing fields of tobacco. They harvested the tobacco, bundled it, and shipped it off to England for sale. This was how the Virginia colonists began making their money. Plantations arose that raised, bundled, and sold tobacco. Tobacco became what was called a cash crop. That's a crop raised for sale to get cash instead of used by the farmer who raised it. All of this raising crops meant that the English were taking land to be used as fields. When the English created a farm, the farmer considered the land his private property. Only he could use that land. It belonged to him and him alone. Native Americans did not see things that way. They believed that land belonged to the Great Spirit. That meant that all land belonged to God. The Great Spirit allowed humans to use its land in order to live. Native Americans believed they had a right to respectfully use the land. They did not have a right to own the land. No one but the Great Spirit could own the land. This difference in how the English and the Native Americans view land often led to conflict. That conflict was often war. Native Americans could not and would not accept that they could not go on and use any piece of land. The English were not about to let anyone interfere with their ownership of their plots of land. That was why many had come to America. They came so they could own their own land. For the Native Americans, time and time again these English were seizing more land. Where once Native Americans might have had a summer village, there was now a permanent year-round English village. Where the Native Americans might have hunted, grown, corn, beans, and squash, the English had felled trees and created huge fields of crops. These fields were strictly off-limits to Native Americans. And the English settlers were doing this again and again. Gobbling up more and more of the Native Americans' hunting and living grounds. When Native Americans resisted English settlement expansion, the English said they were hostile. When the English found the Native Americans resisting, especially by using force, the English waged war against the Native Americans. At first these wars might swing back and forth. However, in the end, the English with their guns almost always came out the winners. The Native Americans viewed the English as very greedy. If they wanted something, they usually took it. 
if they owned something, nobody else was supposed to have any contact with it or make use of it. Over time, the levels of Native American frustration with this strange, land-grabbing, greedy English raised repeatedly and more violent conflicts. Happened these conflicts would continue from the first days of colonization to the 1890s when Native Americans had finally been rounded up and confined to Indian reservations.